And he goes on to tell the mother of the sons of Zebedee and they themselves what it means. It means that you and I, as his disciples, look for every opportunity we can to be of humble service to other people around us. To look for opportunities, not just to wait for them to come our way, but actually to actively seek out those ways in which we can give of ourselves in a sacrificial way to those who are in need, no matter what the need is. And the first thing, of course, in order for that to happen is the fact that we have to start opening up our eyes. We have to open up our hearts to the people who are around us. And in a very practical way, that means that we put our smartphones in our pockets or in our purses when we walk down the street. How will we ever see who's coming at us down the street or in the hallway if we're looking at this device in our hand? How will we ever be present to be present if we're reaching out to somebody miles and miles away? How will we ever look at someone in the eye and know that they might need us if we're preoccupied with the machine in our hand? So the first thing is we have to notice. We have to begin seeing the people who pass us on the street and in the hallway and at work. We have to look at them in the eye and listen with our ear. And even more importantly, we have to listen with our heart. <coughs> the Lord invites us to look for those opportunities in our life to live his life and to be sent by him to those people and those places that we visit every single day. There isn't a day that goes by when you and I don't have lots of different opportunities just to be of humble service to those around us. It can be everything from holding the door for somebody to saying a kind word to someone who looks down in the dumps to being willing to give that person who says to us, Got a minute? A minute? Any little opportunity to go out of ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ is the way that we imitate this teaching of the Lord Jesus, who came not to be served, but to serve, and to give himself as a ransom. And so in him, every time we go out of ourselves, with his love within us, his love being paid through us, then we are his disciples. It's a full-time job. But it's one you know as well as I do. It's a job that's very needed in today's world. As I walk around the city, and I, I walk to the office every day, uh, I'm struck so often by the sadness on people's faces. And they may not know that they look sad, and maybe they're not sad, but the face says sad, and what you and I have to bring to them is joy and hope. Because in Christ Jesus, by the gift of the Father and by the power of the Holy Spirit within us, He meets all those people we see on the street. They meet Him in us. Now, they may not know that you and I are Catholics. They may not know that you went to Mass tonight. But if in us they see a spark of hope, a spark of joy, a spark of love, because we are his disciples, they have met the Lord Jesus. And in him we have gone out of ourselves in sacrificial service. 